So I'm about to go over some similarities and some differences that I've noticed between Colombia and Brazil since moving. Stay tuned. Some of you may not know, but I lived for some time in Colombia and now I'm living in Brazil. And primarily in Colombia, I was in Cali and Bucaramanga. Now that I'm in Brazil, I am in Curitiba. So disclaimer, I cannot speak for everyone. I mean no disrespect with my comparisons and yeah, comment down below if you have something to add that can help someone else out. I tried to like group this in a way that made sense. I just try to think of the things that stuck out to me the most. Things you do will find on the streets. I have a um, like food and eating aspect and then I have the social aspect that I'm going to talk about. All right, so let's go. Starting with the like life on the streets or appearances on the streets. For one thing, I have noticed so far that there are a lot less motos. So I'm not seeing a lot of like people on motorbikes or scooters. Like when I was in Colombia, I would see them all the time. And I would notice because when I was in the car, they would kind of make me nervous. Um, just how they like went in and out of the cars, you know, I would just think that, oh my gosh, like somebody's going to get crushed in between the cars. Another thing I noticed since I do 70% of my transportation is on foot. So I notice that there's less street dogs or stray dogs in Brazil. Mind you, like in both countries, the street dogs are pretty tame. I mean, they don't do anything. They like mind their own business. You know, they just walk by you without a care you know what I mean so it's not like they're a big issue besides just maybe leaving stuff on the sidewalk or you know stuff like that so type of transportation they both have you know, bus systems decent bus systems that you can actually utilize if you don't have a car um in Curitiba the bus systems are great but definitely when I was in Bucaramanga, I use the bus system a lot and that was good. You know, no complaints about it. You could find the routes easy, very affordable. In Kutichiba, they actually have these cool places you can go and sit inside of like shelters almost. So it's really nice when it gets into that really rainy season and you need to catch the bus. There's a place for everyone to go in. Yes, so both places also are really good with their access to like Uber or just any kind of taxi service. There are, I haven't looked very much into anything other than Uber yet in Brazil, but I know in Colombia there's several that are some type of taxi service where you can download the app and then get a ride um, pretty quick. And something else that stood out to me about the streets in Colombia versus Brazil in Colombia, there was often these people with carts pushing there. They were selling something. A man outside yelling. What's the name of that stuff? Ah, this is called like Masa Mora or something like that. I think that's the name of one of the things that was sold. There would be different things, but, and you would hear them you know, from your apartment, like, masa mora, masa mora. <laughs> the funniest ones would have it on a recording, and so they would just play it over and over again. It just added to the flavor, to the ambience, to just the life. It's just like a part of the culture there, and everyone's used to it. So I don't really see that in, so far, you know, in Kudichi, but I haven't seen that. Food stands here do have like um sometimes they have coconut but mainly it's the they call it uh caldo de cana i believe and um it's really good like it's it's so good 
and then they make it fresh. They have a similar drink in Colombia. So that's a good transition for me to go into the food experience here. Just like Colombia, Brazil has a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables that you can choose from that you can get your hands on. But in some stores, you need to weigh your produce before you get to the counter. And it took me a few times to uh, uh, remember to do that. It's normally operated or it's normally like a worker there who does it for you. So you don't have to worry about it. You just pass it to them and they like tag it. And so that way when you get to the counter, the cashier just scans the sticker and you're good to go. So another thing is that the actual bakery sections in the grocery stores were like pretty popular. You'll actually see a line sometimes with people who are buying breads and other bakery items out of the grocery stores. And it's it reminded me of the panaderias in Colombia because those were pretty popular. They go harder in Brazil in their bakeries and uh, some of these grocery stores definitely bought things from the grocery store. Panaderias or I think they're called did they call them padarias? As far as restaurants go, they are more known for having buffet style restaurants. They have all kinds of restaurants like sit down, menu, item type restaurants too, don't get me wrong. But the buffet scene in Brazil is a regular thing here. You won't have to really look hard to find these style restaurants. It's basically an all you can eat. The other option is to buy per weight. So you fix your plate and then you go down to the end and the lady or the man, they will weigh your plate and then you just pay for what you get. Two things that I definitely miss that I see they don't have in Brazil so far. I'm not seeing, you know, a huge soup and fresh juice. So loved, loved, loved it in Colombia. They would start you off with a soup and then you would order your juice, your fresh juice <laughs> to go with your meal. I could really love that. And I'm not seeing that as a cultural thing here, but that's okay. All right. So social, social, social. Well, let me just start by saying they're both very similar and they're both very welcoming, especially when you're trying to speak their language, you know, whether it's uh, speaking Spanish to Colombians or Portuguese to Brazilians, they are very excited. They love it. Um, they're quick to invite you over to their house, um, spend time together, and their families are tight-knit that, you know, is very similar there. And they're both cultures that love kids, um, and they're very touchy as well. <laughs> with especially with kids they love to hug they like you know to play with the hair and the petting and uh they that's just how they do another thing is that i've seen that's similar is that you'll catch people like holding hands or like with their arms locked together and this is normally like what i perceive to be family so to be like an older woman and a younger woman just older people. They normally walk really close together, snuggle together. It's not cold outside or anything, um, but that's just, you know, how they do it. And I think it's the sweetest thing. And I don't really see that, you know, in the United States, um, but I love to see it. Uh, one big thing that I've gotten, you know, from both, like, oh, but don't you miss your family? Like, you know, why you trouble here? And you can tell it's like a really huge thing. Um, and closeness with families is, is, is important. But if I had to choose which one's friendlier so far, I think Brazilians are. <laughs> um, Brazilians seem to be the friendlier uh, people in my experience. I've had so many strangers randomly talk to me in public and just start conversations <laughs> and um way more than i've ever had in colombia and i've like actually been walking down the street and i've like in one day there were two different people in cars and they like stopped to ask me 
directions or just like something random so that's it for my list so far i just wanted to do a video covering some of it um and i didn't want to go too deep into it i just kind of want to like hit on some different things if anyone's wondering you know how to begin you know comparing the two countries because they are pretty similar I hope that uh, you found something interesting and something stood out to you. Let me know. Hope you guys are doing well and I'll see you in the next one.